Hey everybody, it's Robert Monroe and I'm coming at you with another look into a movie or a TV series theme. We did Succession in the previous video. I'll have a link hopefully up here somewhere around. I don't know how this YouTube thing works. But today we're going to talk about another crazy theme and that is from X-Files. Now, why do I make these videos? Well, the answer is simple. I want to fulfill that basic YouTube effect that everybody wants, which is having information that makes you feel smarter than everybody else. Let's be honest. That's why people watch YouTube. So without further ado, let's get into this good old theme. This is the X-Files theme. Sounds something like this. Something like that. So let's talk about a few different elements that make that sound so distinctive. The first to me is ostinato. Now what is an ostinato? An ostinato is a repeated figure in music and it basically provides some element of support, stability to the music. So you could imagine something like this. This bass line is an ostinato. In jazz, you got something like this. So it's all over the place. It can stay in one place, it can move keys, but it's, it effectively has to be the same pattern of notes over and over and over and over again. That is what an ostinato is. In X-Files, it's this. And if I had to guess, the reason why they're using an ostinato is the way that the show is obsessed with David Duchovny's obsession with aliens and with trying to prove something that no one else thinks is real, but he knows is real. And so it has this melancholy, has this passion, has this stick to basically this con constant reminding of what the show really is about, even though, you know, they're solving this case over there, they're solving that case over there. It's about aliens. So that's what we got going on there. Now, there's something more that I want to point out about this, and that's this interval relationship here. So the first thing we have is in minor chord. Nothing that strange there. In fact, we had one at the beginning of Succession, right? Um, that's in a different key, but you get the idea. So. But there's something interesting about this minor chord. We have this F right here. Now, you might be tempted to call, oh, it's an A minor flat six. Well, that chord doesn't really exist. Because when you see that, you think actually this. F major seven. So it'd be F major seven in first inversion. Meaning it's flipped around once. But you can immediately hear how that doesn't work. We'd have very different TV show where David Gukovny probably doesn't have a shirt on for most of it if that was the case. But that is not what we have. We have an A minor chord, and I would either call this a flat 13 because of the element of the melody having a seventh, but that's getting super technical. So I would actually prefer to just call this a non chord tone. What's a non chord tone? It's a note that doesn't belong. And in this case, I don't think the F belongs there. That's why it works so well. That's the whole point. The F is to make us feel uneasy, to make us feel worried, to feel stressed. This is a thriller. This is supposed to keep us on the edge of our seat. One more interval that is very interesting in this song, which is the B. This is called a major ninth. 
And effectively, what this is, is it's a very soft dissonance. What I mean by that is it's not stressing us out like the way the F does or the way like a B flat would. So what is this doing here? It feels very expansive. It feels like we're opening up, like our mind is expanding. So this is kind of like this big thought idea. That would be my idea. Okay, that brings us to the third and final little bit of information I want to impart on you for this theme, and that is timbre. Now, timbre is very important in music. Timbre effectively refers to a lot of things at once. The timbre is referring really to the color of something apart from what note it is. So you can have an A, but you can have an A. You can have an that A, you could have an A from a guitar, you could have it from a variety of things. All of those sound different. All of that information collectively put together is called timbre. So let's talk about the timbre in this song. We have a piano and we have the synthesizer, which is really a theremin going. It's kind of like a mixture of the way a voice sounds and the way a violin sounds, in my opinion. The reason why this instrument sounds so bizarre and ethereal is because it's actually played without touching anything. Your hands move, one of them moving to control volume and the other to control the pitch. It makes it very airy, you know, to use not very good English. But that's the idea there. That's what's going on. So that's the three basic elements of the X-Files. Why does the X-Files theme sound the way it does? Well, we have an ostinato. This thing keeps going and going and going. And then we have a very recognizable theme up here. We have these intervals here of the F and the B. And then the instrument that plays this melody is a theremin, which has a very airy tone. Something like that, I'm making it up. Okay, one final thing before I close off, which is what would I do if somebody came to me and was like, hey, I got this great idea for a TV show. Let's do a show about aliens where aliens don't even really show up until like two seasons in and really it's about this detective trying to solve cases nobody wants to solve. I'd go, okay, here's the theme for you. Let's start out with an ostinato. Let's start out with something a little foreboding, a little mysterious, but also interesting. Maybe something like this. Hmm, still getting it. Ooh. That could work. So we got this theme. It's a little creepy because of this interval here. This is a major seventh. It's a little more intense of an interval than that, this one here, but it works. Okay, so we got that going. Now we need another timbre, another instrument bringing in something. I'm gonna go the opposite way. I'm gonna go with a bass, probably maybe like a bassoon or something. second melody. That's nice. You get the idea. Not the most amazing work, but again, I'm doing this on the spot. I'm trying to show you the type of thinking you would do if you were trying to compose something like the X-Files theme on the spot. Well, this has been a whirlwind of a video. I've got kids upstairs that are being crazy. I need to get going, but I wanted to just give you a little look into the X-Files theme. If you enjoyed it, please like this video, comment on it, Tell me what other themes you would like to hear about. Video games, music, 
well, we're doing music, but video games, movies, TV shows, whatever, and subscribe. This really, really, really does help. It helps motivate me to make more of these, which I love to do. And until next time, stay creepy. Thank you.